The Lord of the Abyss tier 5 Mermonkey is absolutely insane and it allows you to place water towers on land but trust me guys this is only a fraction of what it can actually do. Alright everyone so welcome to our 3 part series where we're going to be taking a look at every single cross path of the Mermonkey. So we're going to start with the top cross path which is going to be eventually the tier 5 Lord of the Abyss which is absolutely insane. So what you guys saw right there is this tower's ability to let us place water towers on land. This is going to get absolutely insane but let's first get to the Lord of the Abyss. So the Mermonkey costs $650 which is the exact amount of money that you get on chimps mode and guys I have a complete strategy planned out for this. This is going to get wild and I haven't even tested everything so I think that we're in for very big surprises with this tower. So let's buy the Trident Efficiency. Now this upgrade gives it a little bit of extra attack speed and I feel like this should be enough for it to deal with round 9 right? Yes absolutely no problem so far with a little bit of micro happening on round 9 so let's buy the Trident Swiftness which is going to give it even more attack speed and these guys the, the Tridents are going to travel a lot further which is really nice but then this is what we're after we're after the abyss creature the abyss dweller eventually the abyss warrior and then the lord of the abyss which is where the fun starts yeah so we seem to be running in a little bit of a troll versus round 14 and the yellow balloons this is just because these yellows are a little bit too fast so here's what i want to do i want to get the echo sense network going eventually which stacks up to five times and increases the range for all mermonkeys and this is going to be really really important actually later on so let me just buy like one of these guys here at the side because i do want to get it but i don't want it to interfere with our main mermonkey yeah so one of the weaknesses of these more monkeys are going to be fast balloons because they don't exactly have that much attack speed even though we went for the attack speed cross path so look at this thing for example Sean 19 we have pink balloons and we also had a couple of rigos so this is where the more monkey is starting to struggle let me not jinx it let me i think it's actually going to struggle it's because these guys are way too fast and it doesn't exactly have that much attack speed so it's kind of doing well but it's still leaking oh are we going to have some seeking projectiles no all right, so let's try it like this. Let me buy another Mermonkey. I'm going to have it set like this. I'm going to have it on last. And I want to buy the Sharper Prongs, which gives extra pierce. And I want to buy the Tidal Chill. And let me have the May one on Strong. This guy is, is going to go to the bottom cross path anyway, so I think it should be fine. And let's have this one on Strong with the with the Seeking Projectiles, actually, so that it snipes these pinks. Are we doing fine? Was that it? Was that everything that we needed to do? Yes, it is. Okay, finally, we deal with round 19. All right, so so far, so good. We are about to get the money for the Abyss Dweller. I'm going to buy this thing right now. I also got a 3 zeros your alchemist because the mer monkeys themselves cannot deal with lead balloons and even if you buy the abyss dweller this thing cannot pop lead balloons either and for the first time we're getting our pierce bonus so if you guys take a look at the description it grants nearby monkeys a small pierce increase and according to the wiki this pierce increase is five percent but this is gonna get insane later on and it's a part of our strategy so yeah so far i'm noticing that the abyss dweller is actually a really good power spike for the mer monkey because before you buy this thing it's really not that good i mean it works well with an alchemist because well all dollars do <laughs> do work well with an alchemist but once you buy the abyss water you kind of stabilize right and that's what i noticed and it's really easy after getting the abyss water to afford the abyssal warrior so i'm gonna buy this thing right now and this thing as you guys see it it throws these inky tridents which slow down the balloons and the slow is apparently 50 percent and the pierce component gets stronger which according to the wiki is 15 percent so these towers are gonna get stronger and again this is a part of our strategy guys we are just waiting for the lord of the abyss when they gave us early access i didn't think that this was gonna be like that strong i thought i thought this was like a may type of tower but look at this slow it's 50 percent onto moab class balloons this is wild that's way too much slow and how the ceramics appear oh my god they just disappeared in a second yeah this this is really <laughs> this is a really strong tower by itself and keep in mind this is really cheap because the lord of the abyss is only and i say only but it's it's three thousand dollars so you can easily afford this in like what the 50s or something like that i know that the attack speed of the tentacles is not that great but it's literally one shotting normal ceramics let's see how it does versus 45 ones it's not exactly wait a minute did i just see a 45 oh my okay so i know what's happening it's not exactly a one shot it's two tentacles uh, attacking at once i think so it just yeah there we go i think i think that's exactly what's happening but oh my god this tower is so good okay so round 49 a bunch of ceramics a bunch of small balloons so this should be a true test for our abyssal warrior again not that expensive of a tower i don't see anything leaking i mean this is way too much damage also these tentacles they seem to be doing a, a little bit of an aoe attack right so round 54 and we're about to have money for the lord of the abyss so let's just watch this round because it has ceramics and wads which is essentially the strongest things that the game can throw at you during the 50s and these guys are disappearing without any issue we're also gonna have some huge waves of uh, ceramics onto the next one on 55 and this is gonna be the round to which we're gonna get the money for the lord of the abyss let's buy the lord of the abyss and let's finally get the strategy going so the lord of the abyss is well it creates this this monster that's really really strong all of these tentacles and i think the main attack also get a lot stronger so for example the moab class balloons yeah definitely the moab class balloons were popping like here when my mouse is and now they're popping so much earlier like 
like as soon as they reach the range of this thing which is pretty small actually so let me get the neck the echo sense network going this tower allows you to have water towers on land so i can place admiral brickle just like this and that is absolutely insane guys <laughs> What is even happening? Why is this possible? So first off, we can have a sub like this. So let me just buy a sub. Oh my god, this is so weird buying these subs on like Monkey Meadow. So let's just have a sub like this. I told you guys that this thing increases the pierce. So once you buy the lower of the abyss, the pierce gets increased to 30%. And it's a percentage based pierce. So what this means is that you want to have towers around it, which have a high base pierce, which is going to benefit most out of this percentage based increase. And one of those towers is, well, it's a fan favorite and it's the Perma Spike. So if I can fit the promise spike, I don't see the bonus icon actually. So maybe we need to create our network first. So let me just go like this. Round 63, by the way. But should we even be watching this thing? Because these guys seem to be disappearing. Let's just watch the second wave of ceramics, by the way, on round 63. Yep, gone. That's that's it. Yeah, these guys are disappearing in a second. There, that was a wave of strat. Oh my god, it's gone. Okay, so let's let just <laughs> let's just focus back and on creating our EchoSense network. So the placement doesn't matter of these EchoSense monkeys because uh, the buff is global. So that's number four. This is gonna be number five because uh, five is the max amount. So we did get a little bit of a range increase, and I wanted to do this. Yes, exactly. So you guys see the little buff icon above the spike factory. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So let's go like this. Let's set this thing to far, and yes, it's gonna be throwing the spikes at the bottom. This is so great. Easy. Oh my god. Apparently something that happens with the Lord of the Abyss is that because all these towers are actually land towers are placed in the range of the Lord of the Abyss, I think that they count they get counted as water-based towers. So I brought Brickle just to test this thing out. So if I use the level 3 Brickle ability, is the spike factory gonna get the buff, the attack speed buff? So let me just use it. I don't think it's doing anything. Yeah, I don't think it works like that. Is the sub getting the buff? I'm not even sure the sub is getting the buff, actually. Wait a minute. So let's see if we can place the Mega Mines. Have we created, like, small water spaces is my question. I don't think that we have. Okay, so that's the reason why this thing doesn't work. Because all these th these spots in which the water towers are placed, they don't exactly count as water being created on the map. All right, so let's continue with our water-based defense on Monkey Meadow. So <laughs> let's buy the Buccaneer. I want to have the Buccaneer just like this. I'm going to buy the... I think I'm gonna go for actually the top grass but let's get the carrier flagship so the carrier flagship is supposed to be giving a 17 ish percent uh, attack speed increase for all water based towers so let's buy this thing right now and let me just click the subs okay so the subs do actually get the buff this is this is actually weird okay so brickles level 3 ability doesn't work but the carrier flagship buff does seem to work okay that's interesting but come on guys tell me what we're looking at isn't he saying we're defeating monkey metal with subs and buccaneer this shouldn't be possible this isn't chimps mode by the way and you don't even have to play it like this. I mean, we are playing off of the water placing component of the Mer Monkey, but you can go something like this and you get the Perma Spike for the extra Pierce because the Pierce is 30%. So yeah, 30% is a lot. Let's just see how we do it versus DDTs, by the way. It's only the Lord of the Abyss, but see, here's a little bit of an issue. If I activate the level 3 ability, it is supposed but yeah this is gonna leak so we have to go for the village instead so let's go like this and i think this is gonna be barely enough around 90 but we do need to think about something so one of the things that we are 100 gonna have from this lord of the abyss is gonna be the extra pierce onto the perma spike so let's try and get the perma spike and i do think that we do have enough damage and especially with the slows coming off from these tridents i think that we're gonna be fine later on versus the big rounds it's 93 so let's see if we're gonna deal with these ddts so the rockets the small rockets uh, from the small carrier flagship planes can deal with DDTs. We gave them camo detection so that the grapes can deal with them and yes, we defeat these guys and it's actually really good that we defeated them because our spike pile is, well, it's not exactly that strong. Let's just put it like that. Yeah, so 94, let me have this guy on strong now because I do want him targeting the zero MGs and I want to have the slow actually. Oh, the slow doesn't seem to work on zero MGs, does it? Yeah, look at this thing. That's really good to know actually that the slow doesn't work on zero MGs. So it's only BFBs and MOAVs which is, I guess, kind of expected. I would say you can kind of the gap with to buy something like this the relentless glue but i think we're gonna be fine so try 95 and here is the thing that i want to buy so let's get the perma spike right now and let's see how we do versus these ETs. i feel like we don't need to pop all of them with the mer monkey or with our side towers but we just need to pop enough so that the perma spike can tank let me just buy the berserker boo as well let me get the perishing potions and how's this looking we seem to be defending the care flagship is doing a decent amount of damage it looks like and the perma spike with this extra beers is getting from the lord of the abyss seems to be tanking it out yes there we go really good i mean what a weird strategy this strategy is breaking my brain guys I've, I'm not used to seeing anything like this and it's really messing with me i don't exactly have a feel on how good a, a lord of the abyss plus carrier flagship plus a sub plus admiral brickle plus 
a Supremus bike are supposed to be on Monkey Metal, but hey, we're learning, I guess. I really just wish that the space in which these water towers are placed is counted as a water space so that we can use the Mega Mines of these, because these Mega Mines were going to be really nice for Session Round, like this one, and then round 100, the Bad Balloon. So this kind of threw me off, because this is what I was planning for round 100, by the way. All right, so this is the big one. Round 98, we know that the Brickles abilities don't exactly do anything for anyone except Brickles, so, you know, might as well use them. We have a decent perma spike pile i would say which is probably gonna hold off some of the balloons but we need to deal with the round with our towers and thankfully no camel balloons no ddds on this one so we should be able to deal with them so i do have the lord of the abyss set on first and look at this thing it has so much pierce every single bfb and all these mobs are coming out they're just getting coated in ink which just means they're getting slowed so this thing's pierce is actually ridiculous and i'm just kind of starting to think now is there even a point going for the mill cross path maybe for a little bit of extra damage but i feel like the precision and just inking all these balloons is a little bit more important and that's round 98 that was absolutely ridiculous. I thought that it was going to be a lot closer on that one, but never mind. We defended. So 99 45 DETs for some reason are no longer an issue for us. Maybe we had a good angle onto the care. Am I jinx? No. Okay. So, okay. So we are going to have some of these guys walk into the spike pile. Oh, you know what happened actually? Look at this thing. The permanent spike set on far is throwing the spikes here at the back. Okay. So we need to move it back to smart. Oh, so that's what happened on 98. And look at this thing. It's got 78,000 pops. Yeah. That, that explains the entire round. But guys, around 100 and the Lord of the Abyss is absolutely insane. I mean, what a tower this is. I cannot even start thinking about all these strategies that you guys are going to be able to do. It's only day two since the update came out. So again, this is not exactly, you know, we're not exactly into this big time where we have a lot of challenges and we know what to do with this tower. But just, I'm so impressed by being able to place war towers because this is going to unlock so many strategies and so many different maps. And also this extra plus 30% Pierce. This is just like Striker Jones's buff, by the way, but it's a really, really strong Pierce. And yeah, this, this Lord of the Abyss is absolutely insane. I do think that the bottom cross path per monkey is going to be my favorite. So stay tuned for that one. That's going to come out in two days. But the Lord of the Abyss, absolutely insane tower. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the next video, which is going to be the middle tier 5 Popsidon, which is a really funny name, but it's also a really, really strong tower. I think that's going to be the, the attack speed one. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the middle path. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.